Welcome to another Hot Topic Briefing by Tim Sales. This recording was taken from one of Tim's hour-long MLM training calls. Thousands of people from around the world have participated in Tim's monthly free training calls. If you'd like to listen into a future call live, go to www.firstclassmlmtools.com forward slash free zero one. And now we pick up with Tim while the call is in progress. MLM is a legal business whereby an independent contractor or distributor or representative or associate, whatever your company calls it, of a parent company is compensated based on their sales of products or services as well as the sales achieved by those they bring into the business. This is like many franchise companies where royalties are paid from the sales of the individual franchise operations to the franchisor as well as an area or regional manager. Okay, In a legitimate MLM company, commissions are earned only on the sale of the company's products or services. No money may be earned on recruiting alone. All right. So while I was describing earlier about, about a pyramid scheme, and I was saying that it is that people are bringing people into the scheme and there's no real product there. Okay, the big differentiation point is that there has to be a legitimate customer for the product. Okay, that is one of the big determining factors between uh, uh, between an MLM company and an elevator company. Okay, or a, a matrix is what they call it. Okay, so you it has to be a legitimate product that a consumer actually wants. A pyramid scheme and how MLM differs from a pyramid scheme is that there is a legitimate product moving to the end consumer and there is no money paid for recruiting alone. If you bring somebody into the business and you receive a commission check because you brought them into the business, that is a pyramid. If you bring somebody into the business and they get a kit for $35, $50, $100, something like that, and there are no products in that kit... It is just nothing more than bringing somebody in and you get paid on it, then that is an illegal pyramid scheme. If you bring somebody into the business and they buy a kit and then they also want to buy products to try, then that is a legitimate or a legal MLM company. Okay? So the big difference there would be is is that when you bring somebody into the business and they brought and they, and they come in to buy products and they should buy products, right? They should because how else could a person know what they're going to actually be selling? Just the other day, I was in a restaurant and I asked the person, you know, uh, is your lasagna good? And he said, I don't know, I've never tried it. And I thought, what? Boy, if I ran a restaurant. There would be absolutely no way that I would put anybody as a waiter who hadn't tried all of the all of the food, okay? And in the same kind of a way, a person needs to use the product. The three main parts of multi-level marketing. Point number one, the MLM industry. The MLM industry was proven legal by the U.S. federal government in 1979. The MLM industry has also proven itself as highly effective method of distributing a product or a service to consumers. The MLM industry is one of the five main methods of distributing a product or service. So whenever you're explaining network marketing to your prospect, what you have to, and especially if they've had a bad experience or if they keep thinking that it's a scam, okay, you explain it to them in the, using this document. Number one is the industry itself. You have to separate that. Because there is no debate. There was a once upon a time, before 1979, that somebody could say that MLM was a pyramid scheme. But they cannot today. Because the, uh, the federal government tried to sue Amway Corporation and proved that it was a pyramid scheme. And they failed. It took them four years trying to prove that, M- that, uh, that MLM was pyramid. And they failed at trying to prove that. And so it was proven that it is a legitimate business. So no longer can people say or even suggest that MLM itself as an industry is illegal because it's not or because it is. <laughs> people can't say that. People can't say that it's not. All right, let me go to point number two, the MLM structure. And the structure of an MLM company is unique to each MLM company. 
The structure is made up of the product or service that the company has, the compensation plan that the company uses, and the training that the company delivers. Those are the three points that make up the MLM structure or the MLM company structure. All right, so these three parts of structure, meaning product, compensation plan, and training, is what drives the activities of the distributors in a multi-level marketing company. Then, go to point number three, the MLM activities. The activities of the distributors in the MLM company determines whether the company is operating legally and ethically. Legal and ethical activities include selling products to consumers that make their lives better, training new distributors so they get results, etc. Right? Okay, so now you can see that there are three main parts to MLM. Number one is not debatable at all. It's a legal industry. Number two is the structure itself. And that is, is that there are some companies out there that get into a legal industry called multi-level marketing, but the structure of their compensation plan is illegal. The, the product that they choose to use in that multi-level marketing company is, of not a, not, is not of any value outside of that network. And so, therefore, that constitutes it for not being legal. And then the third thing is, is that the training itself. If the training itself... If the leaders are standing there telling you, just recruit people, just recruit, recruit people, we'll get customers later, then that activity itself, in other words, that becomes an activity that is not a legal and ethical one. And I'm not telling you that what you should turn around and do is go screaming at the company and saying that they're illegal. No, you, not your upline, you need to shift from any activities that you see that are unethical, shift them yourself. In other words, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's a whole lot of people out there that have chosen to turn and attack the industry instead of helping the industry. I was one that happened to say, hey, you know what? This is an incredible industry, and it is. I want to help the industry. And so that's why I am asking you also, This Hot Topic briefing was taken from one of Tim's monthly MLM training calls. Want to get more people to join your MLM business? Tim built a downline of 56,000 people in five years, starting part-time. See exactly how he did it at www.firstclassmlmtools.com forward slash free zero one.